Well, we did it. After a decade-long journey, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made the first ever visit to the ever-endearing dwarf planet. And the flyby did not disappoint. Not only were we humans rewarded by brilliantly detailed pictures of the surface after the historic July 14th flyby, but this visit rewrites the books on what we thought we knew about Pluto. Until recently, Pluto was thought to be a little more than a frozen dead rock. Instead, New Horizons has found ice peaks as high as the Rockies, massive canyons, and perhaps most remarkably, a lack of craters on the surface. And that means Pluto's not dead. A surface that remains still and quiet, like our own moon, shows its age via the pockmarks from 4.5 billion years of taking hits from meteorites and comets. But like Earth, Pluto's surface was surprisingly smooth, and that means there is likely a whole lot of action happening beneath the surface. Geologic activity, possibly driven by a radioactive heat source, would cause the surface to be recycled and rebuilt, like the tectonics here on Earth. In fact, the mountains captured in many of the images are still growing. And that's not all. Pluto's largest moon also shows a surprisingly lack of craters, suggesting it, too, might be geologically active and there are other discoveries. Pluto may be small, but not that small. The size is always being tough to measure accurately from afar because of Pluto's atmosphere, but mission scientists now say it's slightly larger than previously estimated at 2,370 kilometers. And even though Pluto is around 40 times the distance to the sun that the Earth is, the solar wind is actually stripping Pluto of its current atmosphere, mainly made up of nitrogen. New Horizons observed a long plasma tail extending from the dwarf planet as the UV light from the sun ionizes the nitrogen and basically blows it away. Scientists will be studying just how fast the atmosphere is being lost in the coming weeks. New Horizon is now in departure phase, but for the next 16 months, it will continue to download data to send back to Earth as it heads towards the Kuiper Belt, hoping it can get a mission extension after 2016 for yet another historic flyby. Perhaps one of my favorite images captured by New Horizons, taken on July 13th from the dwarf planet's surface, a 1,600 kilometer wide heart just above its equator, fitting since the outcasted Pluto has recaptured ours. And now, you're Science Smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.